Until the lions have their historians, tales of hunting will always glorify the hunter. If every one of us were, were committed to leave the world a better place than we found it, that would be amazing. One, two, three, four, we don't want your oil, we don't The hunter is, is, like, is like who wins the wars. And so the, the other side of that story has not traditionally been told. And that's what the posters do. The posters are, are historical records of people's struggles. Historical records of people who who fought to make the world a better place. And so that's why, that's, so I keep learning from the posters. I mean, every week, some poster will teach me something I didn't know, which is incredibly exciting. The posters that we have some are made by trained artists, some are made by graphic designers, some are made by people without any training, but they just had a passion. There's a, there's a real, there's a wide variety of who makes the posters. But they all share one, I think, really important quality. Everyone who makes those posters is trying, is not satisfied with the world the way it is, and is trying to change the direction of society, of of the world. When I started the center, I did not have a vision. I did not have a plan. I did not have a budget. I did not have money to do it. It was just something that was important to do. Nobody else was doing it. And so I just took one step at a time to do the center. So we're preserving the posters as primary historic documents. Um, the posters are telling the stories of the underdog. They tell stories of social movements and events that might not be recorded anywhere else. Like there's a lot of things that I wish I didn't know because I wish they weren't true. Not that I wish that I was ignorant of it. I just wish that this stuff didn't actually happen. The political poster, how we define it, is that it's overtly political, so it has a political message, and that it's produced in multiples. So it is a offset or a lithograph or a woodcut or a lino cut or um, a digital reproduction or a digital print. So it's a, an amazing resource for people to have access to. So we're preserving them, cataloging, digitizing the posters, and making them accessible through this um, amazing database. Um, so these posters will be available for generations to come. Our exhibitions are very unique, and um, when we put an exhibition together, we usually include old posters and contemporary posters, and when they're all speaking on the same topic, they're incredibly powerful. Right now, people are coming to the center for our resources. There's nothing else like the Center for the Study of Political Graphics, certainly not in this country and possibly not in the whole world. So we receive the, about 3,000 to 5,000 posters a year. The vast majority of our materials are by donation. You know, we need volunteers for everything. Like CSPG has a very dedicated staff, but it's a small staff. The, the poster is often considered or called the most democratic of all art forms because it's inexpensive and it's, and it's not a unique object. It's really intended to be seen by more than one person at more than one place at more than one time. And my attitude is I'm doing this because I also am an optimist and the world has to change to a much more humanistic, non-racist, non-sexist, non-homophobic, non-exploitative, non-polluting. I mean, every, every issue that's out there, 
And the posters have the ability to reach people and to make them feel empowered, to make them feel responsible, to make them feel part of something bigger than them. The point is asking a question changes you. There's other perspectives out there that I don't know everything maybe I should know. And so it opens up, it opens up your, your consciousness, your mind, your awareness to other points of view. Vision of the, of the center, I would say, is a, is a vision that has developed over time because of a lot of people putting in a lot of energy and a lot of ideas and a lot of creativity. It, it educated people. We, we would get notes from people saying, I'm in, one of the, I'm in the richest country in the world, going to one of the best universities in the country, how come I didn't know this? You know, we're planning on this becoming a major permanent institution in the United States, preserving uh, social movement struggles of the U.S. and around the world. Almost every country in Europe has a poster museum. It's time for one in the United States.